Did you know every programming language, Python, Java, Rust, ends up as the same ones and zeros inside your computer? So why do we have hundreds of programming languages that all look so different? Let's break down this weird truth in under four minutes. Okay, check this out. Here's a simple add two numbers function, but written three different ways. In Python, in JavaScript, and in C++, same logic, different vibe, but the same computer underneath. What's the reason for this? A programming language is just a way for humans to tell computers what to do, but your computer only speaks binary, ones and zeros, so your nice human code needs a translator, a compiler, or an interpreter. It converts your friendly words into brutal ones and zeros that your CPU understands. Your CPU doesn't care if it came from Python or C++. To it, it's just electricity flipping tiny switches. So, if it all turns into binary anyway, why not have just one language for everyone? Good question. The truth is, each language is a different tool for a different job. C is ancient but super fast. It talks close to the hardware. Python is easy and clean, great for quick projects, data science, or AI. Rust is all about safety and speed. No memory leaks here. Java runs anywhere. Big companies and banks still love it. Think of it like human languages. You can say, hello, hola, namaste. Sorry, even, I don't know what that is. Probably it has the same meaning, but in different language. If you know, drop it in the comments. I'd love to learn. In coding, it's the same idea. The grammar changes, but the core ideas stay the same. Loops, variables, functions, they're universal. So once you learn how to think in code, you can jump between languages much faster. That's why experienced devs focus more on logic than on syntax. Underneath it all, your code becomes machine instructions. Those instructions become electrical signals. Those signals flip billions of tiny transistors every second. So no, there's no Python CPU or Java chip. It's all the same silicon doing the same work. But okay, why do new languages keep popping up every year? Simple. New problems need new tools. Think AI, the cloud, quantum computing. New hardware too. From tiny chips to massive server farms. And sometimes, old languages just get messy. So developers create cleaner, safer versions. Fun fact, there are over 800 programming languages, but about 95% of the world's software runs on just a handful. So here's the takeaway. Don't overthink which language to learn first. If you understand how to code, loops, functions, conditionals, you can pick up new languages faster than you think. It's like learning to drive. The car might change, but the road rules stay the same. All right, now you know. Programming languages look different, but do the same thing underneath. So what's your favorite programming language? Or one you want to master next? Drop it in the comments. Let's see which one rules the comment section. If you learned something new today, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next explainer. Thanks for watching. Bye.